Hello and welcome to my Genetics 311 Module 6 exam video. Today we're going to be talking about developmental networks and we're going to be using a Game of Thrones example to talk about that. So for our example today we're going to be having four characters, Tyrion, Daenerys, Cersei, and Jon Snow, and they're going to have a relationship that determines who ends up on the Iron Throne. So Tyrion, the presence of his gene is going to activate Daenerys, which is very similar to an activator uh, during transcription, which recruits RNA polymerase to the site of transcription to allow it to occur. The Daenerys gene represses Cersei, the Cersei gene represses Jon Snow, and if Jon Snow is not repressed, the rightful ruler will enter, will be on, put on the Iron Throne. So our developmental network is going to look like this. Tyrion activates Daenerys, Daenerys represses Cersei, and Cersei represses Jon Snow. So if all of our characters are functional, no one's mutated, what would our final product of our story look like? So first, Tyrion is going to try and activate Daenerys, and with Daenerys, working, she is going to restrict Cersei, taking her out of the picture. So she is repressed. So with Cersei repressed, she is not able to repress Jon Snow, which means that Jon Snow is transcribed and the rightful ruler is put on the Iron Throne. So for our single mutation number one, we're going to start off by mutating our Daenerys, and so she is no longer functional, so she cannot do her job. So Tyrion is still going to try to activate her, but nothing's going to happen. So she is not activated, which means she cannot restrict or repress Cersei. So with Cersei fully functional, she is going to repress Jon Snow, taking him out of the picture and ensuring that the wrong leader is, in is, is bestowed on the throne, putting Westeros into chaos. So for our second mutation, we're going to mutate Tyrion. So with Tyrion mutated, he is not able to activate Daenerys. So Daenerys is out of the picture now, which means she cannot repress Cersei. So once again, Cersei is able to repress Jon Snow, plunging Westeros into chaos by ensuring that someone else is put on the throne besides the rightful leader. So for our double mutation, we're going to get rid of both of the Lannisters this time. So with Tyrion and Cersei out of the picture, how is this going to affect uh, our story? So Tyrion is not able to activate Daenerys because she is or because he is not is now mutated. So with her out of the picture, she cannot repress Cersei. So now that but it doesn't matter in this case because Cersei is actually already mutated. So she cannot do her job either, not allowing herself to um, repress Jon Snow. And with Jon Snow rightfully uh, transcribed, the rightful ruler of Westeros will be back on the throne and uh, it will all be good in the story. So thank you guys for watching. These are my references. I hope you enjoyed.